go ahead and stop our recording here. Take a look at the Dynagraph. And it made 151, so it was really not much of a difference. But our torque went up just a touch as well. So if we're going up two more degrees, um, going from our blue line to our orangish brown line, that's going to be the difference. And there's really not a lot. We're splitting hairs at that point. So that's going to be telling me, let's go and play back our log here real quick. Let's hit F10 and stop. And let's trace back. See our knock count here is three. We didn't pick up any knock count. And by bumping in two more degrees timing, there was a slight difference in power. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to go any more um, because 10 degree, again, we're going to run a little bit less timing than we would on, uh, let's say, 20 degree. I'm going to be expecting, once I start to kind of keep going on with a bolt-on setup like this, that I should be around um, uh, about 30 degrees time, 30 degrees cam angle, about 28 to 31 degrees timing. That's usually my reference mark on 93 octane. So I know on, on 10 degree, I'm not going to get too crazy with this. We just want to optimize each cam angle, but we don't have to get hung up on making a million pulls. We just want to get close. So let's take a look at our fuel overlay here. And we might take out just 2%, just this spot right here. Just clean it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do at this point, copy my 10. I'm going to go here into my 20 degree fuel table. Copy it into my 20. Make no other changes. Go into my spark timing table. Go to 10, copy. Go into 20, paste it. Copy and paste. And then we're going to go here to our cam angle table. And then I'm going to go and simply go control J and set them all to 20. So now we're locking our cam angle at 20 degrees. Now we're going to be taking a look at our part throttle for our cam angle on 20 degrees for our fuel. Then we'll move into the full throttle tuning for our fuel on the 20 degree. Then we'll take a look at our spark timing optimization. We're always going to keep that process going like this. So even if you don't have a chassis dyno, you can follow along. So what we should see here in the 20 degree is that we need some more fuel on columns 8, 9, and 10. Specifically, if we're jumping here to 20 degree, probably going to see that the range from 500 to probably about 4,500 is going to be lifting up. We're going to be making more torque there. We're going to need more fuel supply right here. We may or may not notice if our part throttle here is going to need more fuel, but we're going to run through that anyway. Let's go ahead and save this. And uh, what I'll actually do right now, I'll just go to save as. We'll just save